One very big piece of news for World Ducati Week is the announcement of this glorious machine, the 1199 Superleggera. This is actually as close as I can afford to get to it because it costs 900,000 rand. But you can't buy one because they've all sold out. The Superleggera is even more expensive than Ducati's MotoGP replica, the Desmo Sedici. And that's down to the obsessive amount of time and money that's been spent, saving a total of 11 kilograms over the Panigale R on which it's based. In road trim, with all the lights, indicators, number plate holder and other legal stuff, it actually tips the scales just one kilo more than the factory Ducati World Superbike racer. Take the road legal stuff off, and it's too light for World Supers. <laughs> How cool is that? That piece I'm picking up with one finger is the magnesium monocoque frame, and it's the extremely liberal use of such exotic materials that has helped shave all that weight. The V-Twin pumps out 200 brake horsepower, which, with the severe dieting plan, generates the highest power-to-weight ratio of any production motorcycle. The Superleggera is a wonderful, if expensive, way to showcase Ducati's latest technology. But there are cheaper ways to go high-tech, as Matt's about to find out. Before I get into the interesting new technology, which is going to be available very soon here in South Africa, I thought I'd just speak to uh, Peter Wilkins, who's the general manager of Yamaha in South Africa. And Peter, the Amid Expo coming up this coming weekend, it's where well, you guys always go a bit big at the Amid Show, don't you? What's going to be centre of stage this time out? Well, we've been lucky enough to secure Rossi's bike. Rossi's M1 is coming to the country. It's there in all its glory, centre stage, race stuff around it. So the, the showgoers will be able to get up close and personal with it? We won't be able to sit in, unfortunately. You know, Rossi's bike's worth a bit of, bit of cash. So what we're actually <laughs> going to do is we're going to put it around there, but you'll be able to get within a metre, half metre of, of his bike. And have See a look. And they are absolutely wonderful things when you have a look up close and personal. The detail is absolutely gorgeous yeah. so back to the main reason i'm speaking to you peter one of the big things you'll be able to sh see at the show isn't on yamaha stand or i suppose there'll be a static model but outside you've got some fantastic new technology and what appeals to me about this it's affordable new technology and it means a lot more people will be able to get into yamaha's yeah. It's a three-wheeler, is it not? That's correct. They call it a, an LWM, for technical terms, a lean multi-wheel vehicle. OK. Basically, in, in, in technical terms, it's, it's a three-wheeler with parallelogram suspension in the front, which means the suspension will work like that. OK. OK, with a 50-50 weight distribution front and back, enhancing the safety capabilities, and a further enhancement to the bike is it's got unified braking. Now, unified braking, we use it on the Super Tenez, 1200 flagship model in the venture. Basically what that is is that you can pull one brake lever, it'll allocate the correct braking power to the wheel it requires, therefore creating more enhancement of safety. OK, three wheelers, leaning three wheelers, we've seen these before, but in the past they tend to have been bigger engined and, yeah. let's be honest, pretty damn expensive. What surprises me about this, well, tell me what engines it got in it first. It's got a 125cc engine. Uh, some people will say they prefer a 250, but remember, this bike was only as a concept last year at Alkma. Yeah. In Milan, we went up there, created a big hype about it, and the bike was sitting there in all glory, and Yamaha decided in one year to fast-track it to production. OK, so it's, let's, it's not going to be quick. It's designed to get you around the city cheaply, right. safely. Yes. That's because of the two front wheels, which lean, which give you the unified braking. Um, is anyone going to be able to ride this, or are we just going to be able to look at it like the M1? Now, what we're going to do is we're actually going to create a track outside. It's actually quite a novel idea. With the safety feature of this bike, we're going to be able to prove that it can curb hop. It can go over uh, cross-axle uh, terrain. Uh, you'll find it, and we'll even have a, a, an area where it's wet to show the braking. So come along, come enjoy it, come ride the bike, uh, experience the safety features of this unit, and be able to experience what you think is, is the next level of barking. It definitely should take on, and there's, there's two factors that really appeal to me. It's width. It isn't any wider than something like a Super Tenere, is it? So you should be able to lane split in this. Well, it's, it's crazy. I mean, that's one of the things everyone asks me, oh, great three-wheeler, other bikes come to mind, and, and people turn around and say, well, what is the width? It's 735 millimetres. Now, 735 millimetres narrower means... narrower than bars on some of the big bikes, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, Super Tenere, for example, XT1200 ZE, 980 millimetres. Yeah, uh, MT-09, a... more recognised commuter, 815 millimetres. OK, so it could actually be practical. The nasty surprise is, is always the case when you've got this much technology in a new product, it's going to cost the earth. It's, 
it's, you know, the earth is all relative. <laughs> uh, you know, we believe that there's a lot of technology, a lot of innovation in this unit. We're going to retail it at 47,500 Rand in r rough terms to the public. But at, our, at, at uh, our, I'm talking about that now, but at Amid, we'll be launching at 45,000 Rand, 44,950. OK, yeah, so if I'm you come to... along, you're that impressed on the outside ride and uh, yeah. you're feeling brave, you can actually buy one there and then. Yeah. Well, there's, there's, no, there's no other answer than to say it's coming this weekend. It's yet another reason to get down to the Amid Expo. Yeah. Three wheels are all very good, but sometimes you maybe only need one, as these boys are about to show us. These guys were so good, we made the effort to catch their show every day. Just to marvel at quite how rubbish our own bike skills really are. Obviously, they're all on Ducatis, with one of the new 821 monsters strutting its stuff here, a Panigale, a Street Fighter, and most impressively of all, a Diavel. Long and low, the Diavel really shouldn't be pulling these sorts of tricks, but it's nice to know that it can. No hands wheelies, parking the bike from a wheelie, long, long endos, and some low speed drifting. The level of bike control on display is simply amazing. The show even inspired me to practice a new trick for the pub car park wheeling in circles. <laughs> 